First Alert News at 6. Good evening to you and thanks for joining us tonight at 6. We start with continuing coverage. Andrews County residents spoke out about waste control storage facility and the possibility of allowing greater than Class C waste at the site. The commissioners voting ended up with a 2 to 2 split and left many residents there angry and afraid of what's to come. CBS 7's Noe Ortega joins us with more on this story. Noe? With the commissioners at a deadlock voting 2 and 2 on each side, it's left the resolution at a null and void stage, which means this resolution cannot be enforced by law against WCS. We don't need to become the nation's dumping ground or dumping toilet. This facility opened in 2009 as a low-level facility for compact waste, taking in materials that are classified as Class A, B, and C and considered low-level waste. WCS told Andrews County residents that this would be a quiet and low-level waste facility. You can't trust a company that, you know, they, they, they say one thing and, and at one point and then all of a sudden they're changing everything up to their convenience. So they have, we gave them an inch and they started taking miles. Back in 2014, WCS sent a letter to the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality petitioning to change their rules and allowing them to dispose of waste classified as greater than Class C. Now, nine years later, that petition could become a reality. And if the feds get their way, it's all going to go to Andrews. And this is more of a burden than that community ever agreed to take on. And really, it's just going to benefit waste control specialists and their owners, J.F. Lehman, out of New York. It's, this isn't for the benefit of the community. If this petition goes through, it will mean anything disposed at the facility that is greater than Class C, greater than Class C-like, or transuranic waste will be under federal jurisdiction. Perales says they feel WCS has not been transparent with the community. She says people are concerned with their health and well-being. The waste that WCS plans to bring is more radioactive. She says the community fears it will be a mess that if something goes wrong, will fall on Andrews County to clean it up. We, we don't want to be the solution. That's the federal government's responsibility. That's their problem. It shouldn't be Andrew's problem. We have reached out to WCS about the comments Andrew's citizens have made and are still waiting on a response. For CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Nora Tigo.